Esther was on an airplane yesterday and a beautiful flight attendant as Esther was going to the forward of the plane for the bathroom as Esther came out she said how was everything and Esther said it was really good and then this beautiful girl said if I really want something if I really want something why isn't it coming <laughs> and Esther thought she must have recognized something about me <laughs> maybe it was the way I drooled on my pillow while I slept for the last hour and Esther said well it's easier than any of us allow it to be we just have to think about what we want instead of its absence and the woman looked at her like that wasn't a very good answer <laughs> that wasn't a very good answer and Esther thought how can I condense this we've got about three minutes here before someone else needs something from this girl what could I possibly say to her that would help her to know that it really is not as difficult as we think that it is and Esther said I think it's about just accepting that good things want to make their way to us and are and we just have to let our guard down and let them in and this beautiful girl looked at Esther like you know I really need a better answer than that <laughs> and Esther is thinking what could I possibly say then it came to her Esther said you know what everything that you want is already there and the woman looked at Esther like are you out of your freaking mind <laughs> If everything that I want was already there, then we wouldn't be having this conversation. You're not understanding me. How do I get to where I want to be from this place that is not where I want to be? How do I get from where I am not wanting to be to where I want to be? And the answer is, you can't. You can't. You cannot get from where you don't want to be to where you want to be. You just can't. You gotta figure out a way to make where you are a little less of what you don't want. You got to find a way to appreciate the things about what is that match the things that you still want to come. And so Esther said, well, all day, every day, I just try to stay in my lane. And the woman looked at Esther like, this is hopeless, isn't it? <laughs> because now you're talking about driving. <laughs> and Esther said, when I wake up in the morning and you too, when we wake up, we are in that place where we can let in the things we want and if we could just stay in that place of letting in the things we want then the things that we want would just occur to us and appear to us and happen to us we would have conversations and relationships and experiences if we could just feel good like we do when we first wake up and so Esther said when I first wake up I realize that I'm new in the world that I just woke up and that everything is working out for me in a better way than it ever is right now when I first wake up and if I can just hold myself in that state of appreciation a little longer and a little longer and a little longer then things begin to show me how well they're working out for me like us talking right now don't you think that this is a wonderful thing that we're having this conversation about deliberate creation about living life on purpose about getting everything that we want here on an airplane with all of these people don't you think this is sort of an amazing thing and Esther sat back in her seat and she thought I am willing to get up every morning for the rest of my life and practice being in my lane meaning you know how to do it you're in your car you're driving down the road you don't try to occupy the same space as a car in front of you you have a sense of where you are if you begin to drift a little bit because you're not paying attention and you hear the rumble strip on the side of the road you do something about it don't you you don't wait until you're in the grass before you try to correct it you don't wait until you're off the bridge before you try to correct it in other words because if you let the momentum take you without paying attention then off you go into the grass and then you've bumped up against something else and then something else and then you are off the bridge and then there's so much more that has to be done to bring you back into your rightness there's all those new legs and arms that they have to attach to you and <laughs> plug up all the holes that you've punctured in yourself or even get a whole new body and start all over and that's time consuming <laughs> isn't it nice that you just pay attention to where you are you deal with it as it comes along because it's natural to you and that's really what you're wanting to do relative to the thoughts that you think the other morning Esther had been watching television politics and politics <laughs> and 
took all of it that she could and then she turned off the television and thought well now I'm informed and depressed <laughs> and as she slept her vibration cleared like it always does in other words when you sleep whatever momentum you've got going on subsides while you sleep and when she woke up she knew that she was in a new world that she was alert and awake and that it was a fresh new day and she thought oh I really want to keep this momentum going so she brushed her teeth and sat to listen for 15 minutes to the guided meditation and as she listened to it 15 minutes breathing to the rhythm of the music as she came out of meditation flying high and knew it feeling frisky and whole and free and happy and then a thought came to her mind look at the quote on the website she never looks at the quote on the website not like that so she looked at the quote on the website and it was screwy the first two sentences were perfect but behind it was another sentence that started in the middle of the sentence and it was incorrect it doesn't even make sense the pieces didn't even go together and so Esther called Mark who is the website guy and said hey look at the quote today and he said "Uh oh I'll call you back so he fixed it and called Esther back and when he called her back she said so how does something like that happen she's picking a little fight how does this happen well as I was cutting and pasting I just didn't quite get the old one out when I pasted the new one in but wait I thought this was an automatic download when I give you these quotes I thought you were and then he said something that she had not understood before and now she's taking issue with what she thought he told her before and what she thinks she's telling her now so now she's still picking a fight and then she thought uh oh here I go I'm out of my lane the rumble strip is well behind me I'm off in the grass and then just to punctuate it right before she went off the bridge she said the mother load of all dysfunction would you like me to do this and then he responded in kind this is really hard Esther I don't think you can do it And then Esther said, I'm really smart, but I don't want to do it. And then they hung up the phone, still in love with each other, hanging by a very thin thread. And Esther said, I'm going to sit and write. I'm going to talk to Abraham about this. I'm going to bring myself back into alignment now it was just a sort of thing that happened in other words there was a lot of momentum about that this is something that has been going on for years in terms of it mattering a lot to Esther these daily quotes matter a lot to Esther because she knows that there are millions of people around the world that are seeing them in one format or another she wants them to be the way that she wants them to be so that momentum of guardedness or that momentum of wanting it to be right was taking her to a place where she has no business being she does not want to be there she could feel that she did not want to be there and found herself doing something about it brought herself back into alignment before it went too far so now all of this it's only 30 minutes into her day and already she's been in alignment out of alignment in alignment out of alignment in alignment out of 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 alignment in alignment in alignment in alignment and this is what we are wanting to suggest to you you have choices all day about how far things go and you have momentum on some subjects that will take you over the cliff if you even look at them in other words there are some subjects that you might want to avoid if you don't want to go off the vibrational cliff and sometimes you think because it isn't really a cliff it's just a vibrational cliff that maybe it's worth the risk and we're here to tell you it isn't that it isn't that until you decide that you are the creator of your own reality until you decide that alignment is the only thing that matters until you decide that that's where your power is and that's where your clarity is and that's where your joy is that's where your fun is that's really where your life is because you know what your life is you know what you intended to live you know what the life is that you intended to live you intended to come and mix it up and put things in the vortex and you knew that the vortex would gestate and that law of attraction would call the cooperative components to it and you knew that 
that it would get bigger and bigger and you knew that it would get big enough that you could receive the idea of it and you knew that when the idea occurred to you that you were off and running and you knew that then all that mattered once the idea occurs is that you don't sabotage it with contradictory thought that you don't sabotage it with opposite thought that you don't let things from your past beliefs that you've been thinking a belief is only a thought that you continue to think you can modify your beliefs you can make your beliefs gradually conform to the desires that you are now holding and in doing so everything that your life has brought you to the knowing that you desire can be manifested fully in your experience and the best part is oh it's not just that you get the stuff that you want there isn't anything that you want whether it's a material object or a pile of money or a relationship or a circumstance or an event or a world event or a personal event there isn't anything that any of you want that you want for any other reason than that you believe you will feel good in the having of it and once you understand that it's all for feeling good and that you can feel good even in the not having of it then in the feeling good even in the not yet having it in physical terms you will have it in a vibrational sense and if you can keep that up if you can stay in your lane if you can continue to know that it is yours even before it is manifested the ideas will occur to you the inspiration and the impulses will come to you and you'll find yourself in the right place at the right time rendezvousing with the right others who will co-create with you and there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have there is no limitation to you other than your inability to stay in your lane other than your inability to go where you mean to go rather than go where you are being influenced by something else or someone else or even by the ill-conceived misunderstood beliefs that you have picked up along your own physical trail you see you are powerful beings you are worthy beyond our ability to describe to you and you are wanting to be in this sweet spot of creation where you've mixed it up you've done step one life has caused you to ask 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 and as you've been asking you have tossed that rocket of desire into this vortex where source has answered 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 step two has happened step one has happened step two has happened and now your work is step three you got to get in the receptive mode you got to get tuned in so that you receive the feeling of alignment you see and then step four is you just get really good at that you master it you just get really good at it like esther was that morning she's not perfect far from it but she knows when she's off and she knows what to do about it and sometimes she does something about it <laughs> and sometimes she has to wait for another good night's sleep and start again the next morning and then step five is step five is our favorite step for you step five is where you're no longer mad at yourself when you're back at step one step five is when you accept the perfection of the contrast that keeps producing more in the vortex can you imagine what this infinite intelligent collective consciousness vortex is that the billions of you have crafted together can you imagine what you have asked for and what source is answering can you imagine your individual and collective potential when you get into the receiving mode and you receive from your path of least resistance what's ready for you to understand and hatch and do you understand that the path of least resistance by that we mean the path by which source is able to answer you even though you've thrown resistance all over your path source knows your resistant points and guide you around it and over it and under it and through it source never says get rid of all of that resistance or we will tell you nothing anymore <laughs> source just keeps offering and offering and offering and offering and offering another and another and another you say I went to the dock and I missed my ship my ship came in and I wasn't there and we say there's another and another and another and another there's a never-ending stream of guidance and help and clarity and assistance and knowing that is projected and offered to you but you got to get in the receptive mode and when you do oh, then every day is full of these delicious interactions where you get to realize the potential that you have divined from your physical experience if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video